In this lesson, we'll continue our review of writing task nine, section two. We're still on the third passage, wet plate photography, an old technique makes a new splash. We're on question number 29. In the last video, we finished with 28. We replaced nominal with mere to emphasize that the photographer has just a few minutes. It's very imperative that he quickly develop it using this process. When the image appears in the negative, water is used to stop the process. A chemical fixed bath turns the negative image into a positive one. The photo is then immersed in water and warmed. In conclusion, it is coated with lavender oil to give it a protective finish. So we have two questions here. So 29 is a transition question in conclusion. And if you go back and review this whole paragraph really details, it's, it's really a lengthy, difficult process to develop it using this technique. And the last step is given. In conclusion, it's coated with lavender. And that's not a conclusion. It's, I, if he's listing the steps, it's really going to be, let's take a look at the choices, something to indicate the last step. It is finally. Finally, it is coated with lavender, not thus which really means therefore, in conclusion, is not accurate. Nevertheless, means in spite of that definitely is not right. So the answer here is B. With lavender oil to give it a protective finish. So this has parentheses, which is sort of like setting up a non-essential clause. That doesn't really make sense here. This is one continuous sentence. It is coated with lavender oil to give it a protective finish. There's no punctuation here except for the period at the end. So the answer is D. All right, let's continue. Last few questions on this passage. Wet plate photos are marvelously fine-grained and detailed and they seem to glow with an ethereal uh, silver, uh, silvery light. One misstep or speck of dust on a glass plate though and flaws appear. Smudges resemble oyster shells swirl around the photo's edges. Sunbursts or streaks emerge where collodion pools unevenly. 31, this is a tense issue. Smudges resembling oyster shells swirl around. Let's look for clues. You see here, appear, this is just the present tense. And then we see emerge. And so swirl is correct, that's just the present tense. It's not will or have or past tense. So for these tense questions, always look at the sentences that um, appear before or after and just look for consistency. And so this one is no change for 31. Since the film requires long exposures, moving subjects blur, a shifting arm or leg might even disappear because of the lengthy exposure time required. 32, we have to find the correct version here. And the sentence above the underlying part, since the film requires long exposure, moving subjects blur, and then we have a shifting arm or leg might disappear because of the lengthy exposure. And see how they put space between long exposure and lengthy. So that's redundant. So no change is out. An arm or leg shifting during the long exposure. Again, this has long exposure. It's kind of bulky too. We don't want long exposure. So here we see long exposure again. And it's D here. A shifting arm or leg might disappear because we already listed that it was a long exposure process and that's the most direct as well so the answer is D and the last question for this passage is 33 so I'll finish just reading this paragraph the exposure time requires or explains why people in wet place photographs often look dour it's hard to hold a smile for that long prominent among contemporary wet plate photographers is Joni Sternbeck whose work centers appropriately on water and people's relationship to it Sternbeck's photos series ocean details sea sky and surf line depict surfing image surging surfs roiling waves and the surfers who ride them her subjects could be 19th century wave riders if not for the modern board shorts and bikinis they wear so i'll just finish reading this sternberg characterized wet place photography as one part photography one part performance art one part three ring surface a circus a worthwhile endeavor because it produces the unique haunting images she seeks when I look at a digital print, she says, it might be gorgeous and smooth, but it's a piece of paper and it's one of many. And so the last question, 33, the writer wants to highlight the contrast between Sternbach's techniques and people's Sternbach photographs, which choice most effectively accomplishes a skull. So remember, this is an old technique, this wet plate photography. And this, even though it's, it's conducted in contemporary times, 
The question specifically asks the contrast between the technique, we know this is an old technique, and the people Sternbeck photographs. And we know she does this in the present time, right? If you look back at the beginning here, this is a contemporary wet plate, wet plate photographer. So we just want to contrast it. We know she focuses on water and the surfers who ride them. Her subjects could be 19th century wave riders, if not for the modern board shorts and bikinis these, they, they wear. This looks good right away because even though she's using this, this archaic old technique, we know she does it in the current age and her subjects are these modern, in this case, these, these wave riders. And here it says her subjects could be 19th century wave riders, contrasting the past, but if not, because they're wearing what they're wearing, these board shorts and bikinis they wear. So this really emphasizes, I think, the contrast between the old and the new. If you look at the other choices, the subjects of her photos could be ordinary. This has nothing to do with the contrast between the technique and the modern people. Again, this is an evidence-based question. You really want to pay attention to what the questions, the questions are asking for in this case. It'd be hard to tell if they're subjects or surfers, nothing about time and the contrast. They would appear to come from all works of life again. Focus on what the question is asking for. We want the contrast between the time. And so this one is no change.